video. My name is Alex here with Drunken Disorderly, and I am going to do another what sold what sold video for y'all. Um, so I have some sales from Poshmark, eBay, Etsy, and Depop, and these are going to be from last week, which is going to be March 19th through March 25th. So let's just get started. So the first sale that I have on Poshmark is going to be this um, Coach 65th Anniversary Legacy GG bag. Um, I lowered the price significantly and someone sent me a $300 offer. So I went ahead and accepted it. I'm really happy with this offer. I bought this bag and another bag together for $130. So um, I made my money back and then some for sure. The next bag I have is a Madewell tote. This one sold on Best Offer for $44. I paid either $12 to $14. I can't remember exactly how much, but I recently picked this up in Plato's Closet. The next item I sold are these Sam Edelman um, slip-on mules. These sold on Best Offer for $20. I don't remember exactly how much I paid for them. Maybe... I want to say under $5 probably. And the next item I sold are these Birkenstocks. These sold for $30 on best offer. And I think I picked these up for $3.50. The next item I sold was this Dawkin uh, pendant. Um, pendant. <laughs> uh, this one sold for best offer of $20. And I picked this one up for 50 well, I think it was either 50 cents or probably less because I ended up purchasing like a bundle um, of things together uh, for $20. So probably about 50 cents, I guess. Next item I purchased uh, is going, or that I sold, I'm sorry, are going to be these vintage Rocket Dog sneakers. Um, this is going to be in an upcoming haul if, yeah, this is going to be in an upcoming haul. And um, I purchased these for... $5, I want to say, posted them for $48, sold within a couple of hours for $43 on best offer. So really great profit profit on those. And the last sell on Poshmark are going to be these Batula Birkenstocks, sold on best offer of $36. I picked these up with the other ones also for $3.50. Now moving on to eBay, um, I took a lot of offers on eBay, so I'm going to go ahead and open up my eBay app on my phone so I can tell y'all exactly how much each item sold for. So this pillowcase I picked up um, in a recent haul. I think I already hauled these, maybe or maybe not, I don't know. But I paid $2.50 for them, and someone sent me a best offer of $25, so I went ahead and accepted that one. Next item are these Tory Burt shoes. Um, I think I paid like $8 for these. I had them listed for $85. I kept getting offers of like $40 to $45. So I went ahead and accepted the $45 offer on these. Um, I still made a pretty good profit, but I was kind of hoping for somewhere closer to the $80 mark. But um, I don't think I was going to be able to get it. Um, Moving on to the next sale is this Wallace and Gromit um, little plush. This one was new with tags, sold for $50, literally instantly. Um, I posted this and like five minutes later, someone purchased it full asking price, which I wasn't. Um, I was very excited about that. This one was 50 cents. I didn't think that this was going to sell for that much for sure, um, but I'm still happy with that sale. Next item is this Ozzy Osbourne pin. Um, I got this in a lot with the other um, pin that I showed y'all or the necklace pendant. Um, someone sent me a best offer of $10 on this one, so I went ahead and accepted it. Next item is this uh, vintage Depeche Mode necklace. I have uh, five of these. One of them sold, and this one was international sale. This one sold on best offer of $60, I think. I might have sent a $70 offer and they might have countered back at $60. Um, so I went ahead and accepted that one. That was still a great sell. I think it was like $0.50 cents, um, with the other necklaces and pendants that I got too. Next item is this vintage Roxy pin um, sold on best offer for $15. The next item is that Rails dress I recently hauled. 
um someone sent me an offer of thirty dollars on this and it was also international shipping um so i'm really happy about that uh next item that sold is this kmfdm pins um the per i had two of these and the person who bought both of them sent me a 30 dollar offer and i went ahead and accepted it next item is this lululemon um sports bra um lululemon doesn't really sell a whole lot or move fast for me like some other people can sell really great and for good prices this one i had posted for 25 dollars. i accepted a 15 dollar offer on it because i don't think it got any likes or any any activity on this and as soon as i saw that offer i went ahead and accepted it because i did not want to keep it for longer than um i originally thought i was going to keep it for Next item are these vintage salt and pepper shakers. Um, I accepted a $12 offer on these. I was hoping that they would do better, but $12 is still good for a couple of dollar prof or a couple of dollar cost of goods. Um, next item are these, I guess they're vintage, maybe Prada um heels. I have these posted for like $80 or $85. Someone sent me an offer of $40. I should have accepted that first time. I should have accepted that first offer, but I did not. I countered, and then um, I just went ahead and lowered the price to fifty. Received an offer of thirty. I'm still happy with a thirty dollar offer. I think these were like five dollars or something. Um, I was kind of hoping they did better, but from my experience, Prada shoes don't really sell for a whole lot. So a thirty dollar offer, I'm still okay with that. I made a pretty decent profit on those. Next item that sold is this vintage Soundgarden necklace. This one sold for full price of $80. And um, I don't think this was international. No, I don't think this was an international sale. And that was the last sale from eBay. And I'm going to move on to Depop. Now, I have them posted here, but... I also took best offer or I also accepted offers on these. So I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all how much I accepted. So I sold this vintage coach purse. I had it posted for 70, but I received a $50 offer and I went ahead and accepted that one. I paid $25 for this at a garage sale, which is, I guess a little bit higher cost of goods, but I knew that it was going to do good, so I'm okay with making double with making double my money on there. That is totally fine. Um, and then the next item that sold are these Madewell jeans. Um, I think these sold for a full asking price. Yeah, so these sold for a full asking price of $38, and these did have some wear on the hem but um yeah i'm pretty i'm happy with that i think how much did i pay for these i think these were ten dollars so kind of high but i'm okay with that um with that ten dollars and that is the last sale that i have on depop so moving on to etsy i have only two sales over there and i sold this brass trinket uh storage box for 25 dollars um i had this for quite a while i think i'm going to be slowing down picking up brass because it's just not moving as fast as it used to um but nonetheless this did sell for 25 dollars i think i paid like a couple of dollars for this uh, back when i purchased it so i'm happy with that one and the next item that sold is this vintage hamilton beach chrome um mixer i'm not sure if this already came out in a in a haul or if it's about to come out i can't remember um just because i do pre-record my hauls um like a couple of weeks in advance so i'm not sure but um this mixer did sell i purchased everything in the picture for two dollars including the bowl the mixer the sand everything and this one sold on etsy for six five dollars so that was a really great sell and I didn't make any Mercari sales um, this week, but I will have some for y'all next week. Um, and I will have how much my sold or maybe the profit was somewhere in the title, just like the last video. I think out of these sales, they I did have some pretty good sales. And this week 
um, was probably comparable to last week as well. I think I sold over a thousand dollars or maybe a thousand dollars last week. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with how things are going. I've been listing, um, quite a bit recently and I've noticed that my sales have been getting better and more consistent the more that I'm listing and hopefully it still goes that <laughs> that way as more as the more I list the more sales I'll make um typically is the idea so I'm really trying to reach my um you know monthly earnings goal and my overall number items that I want in my closet I'm thinking around the 800 mark is what I'm thinking in my head but um right now I'm okay uh, I think I have like 440 items so I still have a ways to go before I reach that mark but uh slowly but surely I'll get there um don't forget guys to comment, like, and subscribe this video. I would really appreciate that. Comment down below letting me know how y'all's sales have been going now that we're moving into hotter or warmer weather. Um, are you selling um, you know, your summer and spring items now? Or are you still selling a few of your winter items that uh, haven't sold in the beginning of winter? Just leave me a comment down below letting me know and don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you're not already. I will see y'all in the next one. Bye guys.